Oh, hi everybody here, here back at you with another video. So, my Marvel card is for this month has finally come in the mail. Um, it's Woman of Power this week. So, let's open that and see what we got. We got the tape. And, of course, visual, kind of cool artwork. So, I think she's Spider Gwen. We get some from her. Don't really know much about the other characters. Um, something about Squirrel Girl, which sounds weird to me, but should they can make it cool because Marvel. So, here we go. Here we got the patch in the first. First, we have the pen. That will take out of plastic. So I can see these are on the pen. So here's the pen. Don't know quite who that is. I don't know who any of these characters are, mostly. So, I'm the noob right now. There's the patch. It's kind of badass looking mode. Don't know who she is again. Collector's Corpse Marvel. Okay. I had to like read to the comics with like the girls in them. So I actually in there because I know who all the, the, the guy characters are. There. So. And it says, uh, our August box is Spider Man. So, that's super cool. I'm excited for that. So, before I read that, let's see what else we got. We got. We got, it looks like it's going to be spider Gwen. So, that's cool. spider Gwen. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like the simplicity of that one. It's really nice. And one you can wear, uh, it looks nice. Um, doesn't have, doesn't have that, like, smack in the face. Um, what the character is. It's so cool. We got Marvel Collector's Corpse, very new edition, Civil War 2. I'm thinking she's like. Yeah. I'm thinking she's like Spider Girl or something. Which is a costume kind of reminds me of him. Um, not so good. And of course, you have like female Thor. So I'll check that out. That looks cool. Then we have Squirrel Girl as a pop figure. And she's a squirrel side sidekick in there. And we get Squirt Again, She Hulk, Captain Marvel. So, yeah, there's Captain Marvel on there. Square went on mask, and Square went on hoodie. Captain Marvel mask. So, and be able to scroll there all. Usually, probably like run really fast and like find things really quickly. I like Catwoman. Let me scroll. Let's open her up and see what she looks like out of the box. There we go. So there she is. She 
go bobbly. The values actually bobble quite well. The tiny versions of them don't do it as well, but um, these ones do. There she is. She looks pretty cool. She has like little acorn earrings. And a uh, little um, headband with ears. And I'm sure her tail's probably part of her costume too. And then she has a little sit, a little, uh, yeah, again, look at the little ones, like it's supposed to be a bobble, but it doesn't actually do anything, it just makes it look weird, like, those heads, like, dying. So, he's a very ball. But he's cute, little squirrel. Go with her. Can't have squirrel, go without a squirrel. So, that's cool. So, so far I'm liking this box, even though I have no clue who any of these characters are. Um, they're still cool items. Um, I just don't know the characters, um, so I need to read up on them. Um, and then maybe I will get into them a lot more and like them all. Um, the last thing in the box we have are little bobbleheads. They say mystery minis on them, but they also like tell you straight of a character. So I'm guessing they're just not, they're not mystery, they're more just, the mystery minis, but you get a certain one. So, the she and Captain Marvel on the back. Um, and this one says Captain Marvel, and this one says She-Hulk. I'm guessing we're just getting She-Hulk and Captain Marvel. And this one has like a line with the actual like, mystery minis of the girls you can get. I'm gonna be dropping shit again. And I'm gonna go over there. So. So. I got my knife. I'm gonna cut it open. Let's see if, yes, indeed, we got Captain Marvel on this one. Who we did. So it's not, it's characters like a blind bag, but it's not really a blind bag because you know exactly which character you're getting. So there she is. She's looking badass. At least she can like shoot flames. So. That's pretty cool. She's a cool thing. Her face is a little weird. But um. And she's, she's like super chibi, but in her, in her face is. It's slightly weird for me, but um, she's still pretty cool. Um, some of the minifigures are a little bit too like, chibi chibi for me. And of course, she are is probably gonna be the same. I don't know exactly what they do in the package, so I wish I'd like made it a little more of a secret, I'm like. But, um, but yeah, they didn't, it would have been cool to actually have had mystery minis, as opposed to knowing exactly what you're getting beforehand. So, and there's Shelp, and she doesn't bobble as well, I think. That Marvel bobbles a little bit better. And, uh. She all does, but I think it's because she all just has so much more hair that it like weighs her down a little bit more. But uh, yeah, the little ones never really bobble quite as well as the big pop vinyls. That was cool. I like that. So let's read up in the pamphlet on the stuff because I have no clue who these characters are. So 
June 2016 Marvel's Woman of Power. The shooting retreat went through many changes as friends of the AC and the result of the fabulous better friends zone. Not been sure, and so the ones. I actually really like one of the couple of the ones that they could have had. Um, I'd like to get those too. Like, when they make those available for like purchase, that'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, the final one's pretty cool too. Um, I just like the this last one a little bit better. That one's actually really cool. Um, okay. She's like shooting webs. I was designed with Funko's old and Steen Wilkinson, which is Captain Marvel, Electra, Spider Woman, Valkyrie, and Mrs. Marvel. So I'm assuming Electra is the one with the bolt. Yes. Probably use Electra and it's probably Valkyrie. Captain Marvel, Better Woman, I thought her name might be this one. I don't know. I don't tell you exactly which one's what, just so I don't know. You're better be ready to eat nuts and kick butts with the Squirrel Girl Tippy Toe Pop Duo. So it must be the name of the squirrel. Tippy Toe is one of the smallest pop final bobbleheads we've made, featuring Ant Man being the first from last June. So I'm sure the concept art. Tail on scroll girl proved difficult in production and was changed in order for better protect from breakage. We sent out to make a highlight box highlighting the one of Marvel. We started by posing posting a poll on social media in order to involve you, the fans. This is the first Marvel Factory Corps box to incorporate direct feedback from our customers. So thank you for your help keeping it kind. Then Spider-Man Woman first appeared in Marvel Spotlight, number 32 in 1977, and received her own self-titled series short after in 1978. Um, she's alone on the pin. Um, originally we planned to showcase classic Mrs. Marvel, but, but, but Marvel was excited to feature Kamala Khan and were loving her new look. Again, don't know who these characters are. The characters are. I don't really um tell you much. But yeah. So and then it says for the Avengers, Captain Marvel is said to be Marvel's first first movie with a female lead. Stanley returned to Marvel to work on Shield. So there we go. So I'd love to see a movie with these these lovely ladies. So you can actually get a chance to um like get to know them. Um since yeah, yeah, the has do a good job of showcasing um, women, basically. So it'd be nice to, especially for one of the characters. Um, so it'd be nice to see um, more, more from them here for that. Um, but yeah, this was a cool box. Again, um, so the best box for me when I first heard what it was. So I was like, oh crap, to me, all characters, I have no clue who they are. So. Um, I don't know who she Hulk is, but I always thought it was just weird to like. I like I knew Spider Man and She Hulk, and I guess her and stuff like that. But I didn't really, I don't really know much about Spider Man, but I didn't know like She Hulk was kind of made it so it's like a female version of Hulk, which I always thought was like stupid in TV shows, and they just was like, oh, we're gonna make a female version of just this other character, and. I don't understand why they just can't make a brand new female character who's badass in her own way and has her own powers and doesn't have to be basically a copy version of something kind of like um what was it like in like Tiny Toons where you had Babs and um whatever the other one's name was. Um yeah, so that always kind of annoyed me so yeah, but I don't really know much about these characters, so still a cool box though. So, so it's like how much work they put into it that um, the figures and everything is still still cool quality, still cool, some cool items. So even though I don't know who they are, um, I still am happy with this box. It's not my favorite box, again, because I don't know who the characters are. 
But I'll do some reading up and probably like maybe see if I can find something that I can watch with these characters so I can get like feeling for their personalities and what their powers are um, and everything. I wish I kind of put something like that in that. They just expect you to know. Um, which I'm sure there are plenty of girls out there who know, but I don't. So, yeah, that's it for this month's Marvel Collector's Corpse unboxing. I'm just happy to finally receive it because I was like running late on the 21st and I'm just like, is it coming? No. Because everybody else seems to have gotten their box. But yeah, so I got it and I digged it. I like it. Again, not perfect, but it's my fault because I don't have all the characters. That's it. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Thank you.